Hello, and welcome to like the saddest episode ever. <laughs> so if you missed it in the last episode, definitely recommend going to watch, especially the end of it. Um, Amira died really suddenly and I didn't know what to do. I ended the episode terribly. So today's entire episode is focused on Amira's death. We're going to hopefully be doing some cathartic things. For me, I don't think it completely hit, but I was also sick with COVID and dealing with bubbles in the hospital, so there was that too, but I think it's gonna hit me in this episode. We're going to be checking in on the Windenburg family, seeing how they're doing. We're gonna be talking about that, Jabari, Cedric, and Alice May, and the whole line of succession, and also we're going to be having Amira's funeral I also wore my Amira shirt. It still says Princess Amira. This is old merch, but I, I thought it was appropriate for today. We do have some other stuff we'll need to talk about as well. Okay, so we are at the main Windenburg Palace. I think they've all done this on their own. I think they're all crying it out right now. Jabari, Jabari, I, he just was crying it out. He's viewing a picture. That would have been something else if that was a picture of him and Amira. I will say some stuff went missing. I don't know what happened. I think some stuff I actually deleted or something got deleted or removed from my mods folder so there's a few pieces of furniture missing but I don't I think that's fine honestly Cedric was just crying it out too Cedric went into you went into the bathroom in your sister's room that's that's fine obviously everyone's feeling really sad this is like the day of the day after but this has just happened and i feel like all the formalities i guess of her death this is the first time they're home since all of this has happened a lot of people were asking how she died so amira based on the animation died of anger so therefore through the game she had a heart attack basically or like a cardiac arrest and alice may what is she what, you, what is what is she saying to you chat with prince jabari oh i think just being in their presence it's making them feel a little bit better Oh no, Alice May, don't please. No, no, we're, we're deleting that emotion bomb quirk. I, I can't. No, no emotion bomb quirks. I How do you make them not have it? I know how to remove it, but like, I, I haven't turned off emotional deaths yet. So, okay, so people were wondering because I did have emotional deaths turned off and somehow I keep the same settings in my game all the time, but for some reason it didn't. Oh, Alice May. Oh my gosh. But for some reason, it turned back on. That's why Ember died. I didn't find a way to turn it off. So I'm I'm turning that off. Um, this was obviously really, really sudden. And a lot of people also thought that like Amira might have had plot immunity. But I did decide to go with it. Ask for a Dite's personal conversation. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Okay, Alice Bay is currently mourning Amira. I'm having some of the family come over too. Um, so we'll we'll talk things through a bit while we wait for some of the family to come over because I'm probably not going to be able to cover everything in this episode. I might I might miss something. I'm like going over the general things, but I'm sure a lot of people have questions. But so first of all. Alice May is currently queen. Uh, she's not having the coronation yet. We're gonna wait a bit to have the coronation yet in like her life. It would probably be several months, like over five, six months before they do have a coronation. Cedric is currently the heir to the Windebrook throne until Alice May has kids of her own. I don't think she's necessarily in a rush though. I saw a lot of people said she might be in a rush to get married and have kids now. I don't think that's necessarily the case. They're still grieving. They're still trying to figure this out. The whole family is. I think we all are too. This was so sudden and the fact that Amira went with an emotional death like May did and what is it with the Windenburg women? I swear they're just they have awful luck. I have told my stream in the past that if Amira died I would just turn off the game not save and leave it at that and pretend it didn't happen. I decided not to do that. I did want to start doing like 
go with some more unpredictability and and go with the flow of things because it's kind of what the series used to be all about i just hate that the first one to go besides ember ember doesn't count but like the first one to really go was amira after i decided that it was like honestly a really hard decision but i was also sick and i wasn't thinking straight and i just decided to go with it so now we're going with it and now this is how the story is going to be and and we're going to be dealing with the aftermath of amira's death because this affects a lot of things and Alice May was in university which oh, I'll talk about that now but she is going to have to drop out she was the she would have been the first monarch to she is the first monarch to go to university. She would have been the first one to like get a degree. It's not necessary. A lot of people were wondering if maybe Jabari would act as like a, a regnant while she finishes school, but her degree isn't necessary for her to be queen. That is like not something she learns at university. Everything she learns for specifically for her to be rating um, is done is like a homeschooled thing. So that's not going to be necessary. She is going to drop out. This is going to put a hold on our academic adventure series, but when it comes back, it's just going to be about Cedric and William, probably. Um, and then I'll like sprinkle a few others in there, and maybe we'll see Alice May a bit. But he, oh, Caspian, Caspian, go cover your girlfriend. Wait, that's like the first thing he's going to do as soon as he gets here is chat with her. Yeah, so we're inviting the whole family over. They should be over here now. It's a little bit chilly, it seems. I and I guess Caspian's about to come to get no Cedric. Why doesn't the buff last that long? Okay, I I don't obviously want him to be sad, but like this is emotional meltdown. Oh no, he is having an emotional meltdown in, in the bathroom in front of the mirror. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This was right after not right after May died. May died when Diana was born, but. Uh, I'm gonna have to do updated picture. Wow, that's just right on the door, isn't it? Wow, okay, there's some fixes that need to be made here. That's huge, too. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, Cedric is having a breakdown. But Alice May is also... She's trying to give herself a pep talk. Where's Caspian? This is also... Oh, he's he's waiting for her. He's waiting for her. He's like, just get your right. Just take your time. You're going through a lot. Just do what you need to. I'm right here. I am right here. I am your backbone. I am your support. I will be here for anything you need, but you take your time. That is what Cat. That is. He's just standing there, but that is what I am interpreting this as. Please console or ask for advice. Yes. Oh my gosh, he can he can console her too. If I just let's see, control. Oh, deep thoughts. Console about death. There we go. Okay, good. So, th this is also a thing. Like this kind of came to. There's a lot of things that came to mind that I, I'm definitely not remembering everything too. But um. Oh, he's consoling her, he's consoling her, he's consoling her. So, let's just talk about the whole Amira thing. Like, when she was with Makai, and... <laughs> this is so sad. But when Amira, when she had to deal with May's death, and she was dating Makai, and, like, she kind of changed, and he didn't know what to do. I don't think that's gonna ha I We're not getting a repeat of that with Caspian and Alice May. They're very different. Also, Caspian, I feel like, has already seen Alice May at almost her worst. She has definitely been through a lot, and he's, like, shown that he can be there for her during really hard times, and he's... Ha he's like helped her through her depression. Oh my gosh, is this going to resurface her depression? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, if y'all, not to get like super, super deep, even this is a really deep episode, but if anyone has had to deal with depression, I think you might understand the fear of it resurfacing. It's the worst, it sucks, and it's, can, it can be a fear of some people's, but I didn't even think about that for Alice May. Ugh, okay. Okay, I see Fall It oh, it must be really, yeah, it must be really cold outside. Everyone's in their cold weather. Fallon is here, Samaria is here, the spouses, the in-laws, they are pulling through here. Bellatrix is here, why is it so cold? Oh my gosh, they just lost their, this was so unexpected. Ask for advice, this was so unexpected, we need to greet everybody. Okay, the family is coming in, the family, is, I mean, at this point, I don't think any of them are 
doing that well. Kellen should be here too. Kellen has lost both of his sisters and his mother and father. Oh my god, poor Kellen. I think William's taking a bit of a- Oh, J Charles is helping take out the trash. He's like, here, I'll, I'll help with anything. He's going through it too. Everyone is going through it. Oh my gosh. Also, y'all, Amira, I had- Okay, I had so many plans. Amira's never going to get to see her kids walk down the aisle. She's never going to see their wedding. She's never going to meet her grandkids. Okay, I think it's hitting me now. <laughs> Okay, I think it's officially hit me. It was taking a while, but I, I, I think it I think it has now. I wanted her to see Alice May and Cedric both getting married. I wanted the, her to be at their wedding. She was supposed to be their grand. I had so many plans. Alice May and Caspian, I was gonna have them live at the Henford Palace for a couple years after they got married so they could just be in the country and get to be away from it all before she became queen or before they had kids and now they can't do that. I mean, like, they could live at the Hedford Palace, maybe, but, like, they're, they're, they're never gonna get that time to just be a married couple. They weren't gonna get married for a little bit, but now they won't have that time at all. Also, Alice May is going to have to be the one to propose to Caspian. In Windenburg, the monarch has to be the one to propose. I think this is a lot for Caspian too, but I think right now he's just like focused on being there for Alice May. I think they'll have a chance to like talk more about the deeper stuff of the relationship and what this means for them later on, but right now I think it's just they, uh, Alice May just needs time to mourn. I do think it's really nice that the family is here. Benji is howling right now too. Cedric is still in his school uniform. He, he I think going, He's gonna be taking a little bit of a break from school. Oh my gosh, and he just went through his first breakup a couple months ago too. We're gonna have to see how this affects him because I can kind of see this. He was already a bit more of a rebel, but he, he was showing signs of acting like Amira. I mean, to be honest, May's death triggered something in Amira that I wouldn't necessarily say was a rebel phase, but Cedric's pretty young. I could kind of see this being a, uh, maybe triggering some sort of a rebel phase for him or like acting out in some way. Also for Alice May, she literally just turned into a young adult. And I also just changed the ages so the young adult is 18 because of the whole high school and university packs. So that means she just turned 18. I think Araminta was a teenager in game, but I had the ages at the time I think was like 19. It was like 21 was a young adult when it was her generation. So Technically, I think, in my head, she was around 19. Araminta was around 19 when she became monarch. Alice May is 18 when she became monarch. Nea, I do think, was like 16 when she became monarch. So Nea's still the youngest one. I do think Nea and Araminta are both going to be taking Alice May under their wing to help her and, and guide her. And uh, Jabari's going to try to help and guide her as much as he can too. But I think he's hurting so, so bad. He just lost the love of his life. You family dynamic support. Supportive. Aww. Bellatrix and Cedric, would you say they're supportive? Yes, I love that so much. Why don't you talk to your aunts? Are you doing your home? Okay, all right. So here's the moment of truth. Alice May has to quit school, y'all. She was. She did so well her first semester. She did so well her first semester. This sucks. She was having such a normal life. Things were just going good for her. Things were going great for her. And now, oh my gosh, drop out of university, okay? The girl is queen now. Oh my god, she's queen now. She's not ready to be queen. Okay, she's making the call. She's making the call to drop out. She had just turned into to a young adult too. Really drop out? Should Queen Alice May really drop out of university? This will clear her degree progress. She will not be able to enroll any classes for five days. Yes! She has to! Her mother just died and now she's queen. Okay, I had been recording on my face cam for like 10 minutes and I thought I was recording the game plan. Apparently I wasn't. So I'm sorry if this is a sudden jump. Um, anyway, during that 10 minutes, Samora came over. She is currently here. Benji was dirty so Caspian's giving him a bath so Alice May can hug him and use him for comfort. Alice May and Diana are having a deep personal conversation. Um, I did talk about, oh, he's feeling focused now. So I did talk about, I wasn't sure 
how well Jabari was handling this, so I might have Zamora offer to stay because she did just have grandkids and another option was like Ava offer to stay. I know they're not kids kids anymore, Alice May and Cedric, but they're pretty young. I'm, I am I know 18 is like considered an adult, but I, I still think people are a teenager and people don't like really, they can be pretty immature uh, until they're like mid 20s, late 20s. Some people even then don't even mature yet. So I think Alice May needs all the support she can get and I don't know how much Jabari is going to be able to do that because he's so broken right now. Ask to join household. There we go. So I'm going to, technically it is a more offering to stay and I think Jabari's gonna take her up on it. And then Sissy is going to help out with her new nieces and nephews. We, okay, I know it wasn't someone from the Windenburg ne family necessarily, but it has been a thing in the past that like someone is born in the Windenburg family and then someone dies, which I don't necessarily know if that's in the Windenburg family, but I think someone does usually die. Wait, no, Caspian! You have to be here. Wait, did you give Benji a bath? You did. Thank you. Okay, Alice May's gonna give Benji confide problems, too. She's gonna confide problems, too. A comforting hug. Where did you go? What the hell? Oh my god, she disappeared. Right under the portrait of her mother. Oh, no! Her depression's resurfacing. I guess I, I guess I have to let it. I mean, it makes sense. It sucks. I don't want this for her. It sucks when this happens. <sighs> yes. Oh my gosh, her depression's back. All right, so some more staying here for a little bit, helping out the glory of stories. Yeah, she like, oh yeah, she loves stories. I think she loves stories. I did also, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to everyone's comment on the last video, but um, I did read them and uh, and I, I, I know it was a lot. I wanted to try to respond to as many as I could. I think essentially just everyone is in shock, which obviously same. I don't think Alice May knows what to do. I. I I think again she's really young and this is oh yeah and this is a this is a lot for her and even even if she's a young adult she she's not ready she wasn't ready for this she doesn't want to be queen yet and this like ruins so many plans that she had like her life is just not what she thought it was going to be at all I think she thought she had so much time we all thought she had so much time and now that's not true and none of us were ready she's not ready I think she's going back to mourn she's going back to mourn her mother honestly there I feel like there's so many things that could happen but I feel like Alice May is she just it sucks because it's so restricted for her like there's not much she can do about this she's she's having to recover from from this under the public eye, essentially. I feel like if she could, she'd want to just run away. Like, she she doesn't want to be here. She doesn't want to deal with this. This is so much for her. Like, obviously, she knew. She always knew. And so with most of the heirs, too, it's like they know one day their, their parents are not going to be there anymore. And, like, that's the cost of them becoming the monarch. So when people say, like, oh, are you excited to be queen one day? Her response is always like, no, because that means that my, like, this is, I feel like Kid Alice May, but she's like, no, because that means my mom's not gonna be here anymore. And now that's the case that it happened like way earlier and way sooner than she was ready. And Amir's never going to see like, so much of her, like she's never gonna get to see her grow even more. I know she's already gotten to grow a bit. She's changed a lot since when she was a kid. She's like made a lot of mistakes and she's learned from them and she's had to deal with so much and that has like shaped her into a different person too. And, but now she, her mom's never gonna see her be like an adult. She's never gonna get to see her like be a mother and all this stuff. So I think this is hitting her really hard. I think it's really hard to say who it's gonna hit the most. I think they're all dealing with it really badly and I think they're all gonna deal with it in their different ways. Jabari I feel like might just be shutting down a little bit. He's he's I feels like a bit of a zombie in a way where he is just doing things because he knows he needs to but it's taking a long time and it's like very hard for him to do it but he's gonna try to be there for his kids. But with Zamora's help and Zamora's support I, I think it'll be a little bit easier for him. Actually you know what? Oh it's 2 a.m. I was gonna have Alice May just like sneak out for a sec. Let's just travel and get some alone time. How about that? Finn is going to need to know about this. Where, where to, I was gonna say the island bluffs. I don't know, I'm a little scarred for that place now because Ember tainted it by dying there. Ooh, here in the gardens. Oh, this is gonna bring back 
so many memories. Caspian, come come with. Just watch her. Make sure she's okay. Okay, we're just here for some peace and quiet. Just a little bit of peace and quiet and nostalgia before the funeral. The the llama hedge doesn't really help with the seriousness of things, but that's okay. I think Alice May was just. They probably had like their family over. She was getting really overwhelmed, and Caspian's like, "What do you want to do?" And she's like, "I, I just want to get out of here for a second. So she she asked if they can go here. This is where I have so many memories. Here. Here. I feel like she's good telling Caspian about this now. Oh, she's already calmed down just a little bit. Why don't you guys stargaze for a little bit? Okay, I know it's like really hard to see. Uh, it's it's not very bright at all. This is not the best view, but there's a lot of memories here. This kind of calms me down a little bit too. But yeah, this place is like so nostalgic. I took pictures of Alice and Henry here, Ava and Henry here, Diana had her wedding here. This place is very just Windenburg to me. It like makes my heart really happy and it, it reminds me a lot of Amira. And I'm sure it reminds Alice May of Amira and she's telling Caspi and all these stories of her, but I think this is about to be a huge roller coaster of emotions for Alice May. Again, she did not want to drop out. She was enjoying getting to be, like, feeling normal at university. I think she's thinking that was the most normal she's felt. I think we're gonna have to see how this turns out with Jabari. I think Jabari's gonna need time away too. But I think he wants to stick around until Cedric goes back to school because I think Cedric needs a couple of weeks and we're gonna see how Cedric is dealing with this in the Academic Adventure series. But I think Jabari is going to need his turn to deal with this too. All right, so we're about to have Amir's funeral. I am doing a different lot for the gameplay part of it than I actually imagined the lot to be at. I'm about to invite a lot of people, so I need a small lot so we can handle it because I want everyone to be able to say their goodbyes, give their condolences. I am going to have something at the end of this. I imagine there was a procession where they bring the coffin. I'll have pictures of that. I did all of that in game and then the funeral. So I also have a funeral mod, but the thing is my mod where I can invite any amount of Sims is not applicable to the custom mod. So I'm doing a funeral first with like 15 Sims because that's the limit I could do. And then I'm going to do an event with everybody. I did pick a lot of outfits, a lot of funeral morning outfits for most of the Sims. However, I didn't for everyone because I was like, oh, the, the funeral mod picks black outfits for them. It's so nice, um, but that isn't going to be the case. So m most of our main Sims will show up in black, but not everyone is going to be showing up in black just so you guys are aware. Molly Grace is one of the few that's here for the funeral funeral and she's talking to Alice May trying to cheer her up which I think is very very sweet. Alice May has a really good support system. I feel like Amira didn't really have this support system when May had died. Like obviously she has her family and stuff but they were going through it too but then like her siblings were just born and she didn't have a lot of friends. She was a bit of a wild one when she was a teenager. Alice May has friends. Uh, she has a boyfriend who knows knows how to help her through things. Uh, uh, this is something new and, and probably Caspian is, is a little stuck and doesn't know how to really do everything, obviously, because this is a different situation, but he knows how to help Alice May and support her through emotional things. He knows the best he can do is just be there for her, whereas Amir didn't really have that with Makai. The mod does have, I'll link this mod below too, but the mod does actually just make all Sims show up in black, which is really nice color-wise. I did pick some morning outfits, and not all the outfits are necessarily appropriate either, so um, I, I'm gonna try to pick out, or I, I already did pick outfits, but I'm gonna try to change them into the outfits that I did pick for them. So we have Megan here, we have Fallon here, we have Samaria here, who I'm also gonna change her outfit, and then Charles, of course. I also, for the funeral, for the one I invite everybody, the only kids or toddlers I'm going to invite are the ones that are directly Amira's nieces or nephews. Just because that's a lot of Sims already without any toddlers or kids or anything. Diana's trying to talk to them too. Um, but I'm gonna have, so we can bring 
out the urn. I know technically it's supposed to be a coffin. We're just gonna have to work with. Maybe I should put it behind just for uh, the purposes of, of you know. Um, all right, and then mourn. Queen. I think we can give a eulogy too. Who can give the eulogy? Maybe Kellen. I feel like Kellen could give the eulogy. And then I'll invite everyone else here too. Oh, Kellen, Kellen, there you are. Okay, I, I think Kellen is the most equipped to give the eulogy. Wait, why can't you give- Oh, does it have to be the host? Wait. Wait, I thought we could give a eulogy. No? Oh my god, wait, we could before. All right, I'm just gonna have him give the speech. I, I thought it was a like an actual eulogy. Y'all need to leave. This is a serious moment. This is literally a funeral service and you guys are in the way. Okay, this is Kellen giving the eulogy. I feel like he's gonna mention a lot about, like, well, first saying that he was so young when their mother died, and then how hard it was to lose May before she's ready. And obviously it was very hard to lose Henry when he died too, but at least that one, it was, he had lived a long and happy life, but Amira didn't get to live. I mean, she lived a pretty long life, but not as long as she deserved to. No, Jabari's getting the gloomy trait too. Okay, yeah. Um, but basically that Amira deserved to, to live a longer, a longer life. There was still more that they knew that she wanted to do. I think Alice May is probably gonna have to give a speech too, but. Oh gosh, this is so hard, y'all. Okay, all right, now that we've, I think, established like the whole funeral service thing and the last goodbye being at funeral service. So I, I just, I at least wanted the moodlets and the interaction stuff, so. Let's now invite everyone else. All right, y'all, I just invited 90 people. I don't know if I've ever invited that many. This is m like with five or six kids slash toddlers. Like that's not even including kids and toddlers. I invited pretty much everyone I could think of that Amira had left besides kids and toddlers, or had left, had met, oh dear, but also had left, wait. Oh my god, I'm not good with funerals. I don't know if all 90 people are going to show, but literally anyone I could think of besides Kaleo. I didn't invite Kaleo. I thought about it, honestly. I know some people had mentioned it before. Cedric and Felix jokesters. Yes, I love that. But I don't think Jabari would want him near Alice May still. Like, it's a tough time. He'd be like, no, this is a horrible time. We just lost Amira. I lost my wife. My kids lost their mother. And you're gonna try to come near my daughter after everything you did? No, like, there, there's no way. There is no way. I think, though, I think Kaleo would send a card with his condolences and ask his mom or Samaria to give it to them. So there's other, the rest of the Suwati families here. Obviously Samaria is here. We, we knew that she would be, but like we have Leilana and Dean, they're here. Ava is here, but I think everyone's just, you know, it, it's a serious reason why the all while they are all here i think they're just trying to keep it civil maleko is here nia's here nia's going to be alice may's royal advisor now so maleko came too which i don't know i i think that's very sweet that he did thank you for coming caspian and him the relationship's better it's not quite to where it was before but it is better i think that it's been you know a while now it's been over a year. I think they've definitely had the time to heal their relationship. Nia will be here as well. Nia and Maleko are civil, so I'm not worried about them being together. They've been very friendly since their divorce. It's like one of the most amicable amicable divorces. Kayla is here. Ember's mother, Frederick, is here. So yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go through everyone who is here. I do want people to be able to pay their respects. I think being surrounded by family and friends is helping them deal with this, helping them get through this a lot. Cornelius is here. Hi, Cornelius. This is definitely not like a wrapping things up with Amir's death. I think this is going to have long-term effects and just because of what we see with like the grieving process here this is obviously like the first part of it i am still going to be getting through zaiori's story though so we're probably going to have to alternate i think for a lot of this oh my gosh she can discuss future family 
plant. I think it's a little too early for that. I, I think we need to wait until she heals. That is not a question that I think Cornelius would be asking right now. He's not gonna be like, so what are you gonna do now? No, he knows. You know what? Also, as like a tribute to Amira, I'd love for you guys to drop your favorite Amira moment in the comments, whether you wanna like link a video and timestamp or you just wanna like tell about it, like a memory you remember having, or even like a favorite headcanon that you had. Please feel free to share. I feel like that would be very cathartic, I think, for Amira fans uh, that we can like read all these memories from her. I feel like Alice May, she definitely had to do a speech, I think, about all this, but I think it would be around the funeral time. I don't think it would be right away. I don't think she'd be able to handle that. I think it would be something that they would ask for her to do, like just, you know, your majesty, the pretty typical for the monarch to give a speech regarding the loss of their parent or regarding the loss of the of the past monarch the recently deceased monarch um and i feel like jabari is like are you kid like give her time let her recuperate like why are you asking her this now don't discuss the importance of family yes and Alice May is like, it's okay, dad, like, don't. I feel like Alice May is now saying just, you know, she's the monarch. She's an adult, uh, kind of, but she's the monarch. She needs to take charge. She needs to not have her dad be protecting her so much and, and stepping in for her. She's like, I need to make these decisions myself. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake and I'll learn from it. But if I need advice, then dad, I'll come to you. But just take time to grieve, mom. You need time to yourself. You need time to take in this loss. Don't worry about trying to help me too. She's growing up! <laughs> also, I don't see Naya yet, but Araminta... Oh, good, you guys are already so close. Can you ask? Or, I mean, I think you'll talk to her. Can you just say, like, thanks for coming for now or something? Okay, she's telling Araminta, thank you for coming. And then I think Araminta's gonna, like, just tell her, you know, it was really hard. When my dad passed, I didn't know what to do. It was very sudden. If you need anything, I am here for you. I'll, I'll, like, you don't even have to come with me. I'll check in with you every week, every couple weeks. And she's like, thank you, Araminta, that means a lot. I'll probably take you up on that offer. Also, where's Naya? Naya, I think, was really, oh my gosh, her having to comfort Jabari during that whole thing when, like, we knew at that palace she had to deal with something so horrifying like that, too, when she lost Philip. And now she's, like, on the opposite end of things and being there to comfort the person losing his spouse. I mean, I don't, I think I really wanted like everybody to show up, but I just don't think that's going to be necessarily possible because that's asking for a lot of sims to be here at once. Hopefully you guys feel this was a proper funeral service for her. I, I want to do like a tribute, like building or park or something in Amira's name too. So maybe I'll do that on stream. But this is going to have long lasting effects. This has changed their lives specifically i think more than anybody this has changed al's base life completely and poor girl she was finally being normal and happy and like we were done with the big stuff but now she has to deal with this and now she's the queen we're going to have her coronation ceremony but we're gonna wait a little bit because that's not just gonna happen right away but yeah so you guys will see the tribute we have to amir we have the funeral procession and then the little bits and screenshots of the actual funeral and then i'll have a little tribute of pictures of amira throughout her life for anyone who wants to sit back and enjoy that at the end of the video again let me know your guys's favorite memory of amira your favorite amira moment your favorite amira headcanon we'll also see zayori in the next episode we'll continue a bit more with her story um and we'll also try to talk a bit more about sahar in the next episode i believe we had some good comments and thoughts about it from the last episode so we can talk about that in the next one but again i just wanted to keep this about amira and the windenberg fam the academic adventures series is going to be on hold just for a little bit probably just like a month or so but i will be starting the new regency romance royal regency mini series i haven't come up with a title yet i think it's royal regency mini series that will be soon um so keep an eye out for that and i will see you guys in the next video bye